Good morning, children. Welcome to our next class. In today's class, before going to discuss our lesson, we'll do one small activity. You need a handkerchief for doing this activity, and take one handkerchief. Try to make this kerchief to stand straight. Is it possible to make this handkerchief to stand straight? Yes. We need to give some support by using a pencil, or by using a ruler, or by a water bottle. By keeping under this handkerchief, we can make this kerchief to stand straight, right? Then, in the same way, do we have any organs in our body to make our body or to make us to stand straight? So we are standing straight. We are upright in our position. That is because of which parts helping in our body? Yes, those are bones. Our bones are helping us to stand straight. So today we are going to discuss about our skeleton. Then what's the meaning of skeleton? So we are going to discuss about block nine. Our skeleton. We'll discuss about our skeleton. Skeleton means the bones present in our body. The bony structure of our body. Known as skeleton. So these bones are helping us to stand straight. To stand straight. We all are standing straight. That is because of the bones which are helping us. And not only that, we are n number of people on this planet Earth. No one is looking like same with others. Everybody have their own features, have their own face and body structure. So that is also by our bones. So bones are giving us shape to our body. Our bones are helping to give shape to the body and support also they are giving. Just now we had seen in the Activity, the ruler, the pencil, the water bottle, how they are giving support to hang the handkerchief to stand straight. Same way our bones are giving us shape to our body and also support for standing straight. Yes, so the bony structure of our body known as skeleton. And not only that, our skeleton is protecting our internal organs. What's the meaning of internal organs? Internal organs. So in our today's class, you are going to read some key words which you don't know before. These words, you did not, did not learn about these words. They are skull, ribcage, Ribcage, these keywords along with me, you note know, down in your notebook by pronouncing the spelling. Skull, ribcage, protect, bones. So these are the words you are learning in this lesson. In the same way, internal organs. Means the organs which are present inside our body, we cannot see with our eyes. As we are able to see our fingers, we are able to see our hands, legs. But some organs which are very important to carry our life, those organs are present inside. So those internal organs are taking protection from our skeleton. So, the skeleton is protecting the internal organs. Skeleton is protecting the internal organs. Now, we will see what are the different parts present in the skeleton. Everybody, open your volume book, volume 2. Now, 
we are starting our volume 2 block 9 S1 you open in your volume book page 5. Come to page 5 and a skeleton diagram is given here. You just observe this diagram and see what are the important parts related to the skeleton system is given here. So you try to find out even the names are given along with the picture. So you find out see the first picture what it is. It's skull. Skull belongs to our skeleton system. So what is the first organ present belongs to the skeleton system? Your skull belongs to the skeleton system. And what is the next organ given? Next part in the skeleton system that is rib cage. The second part in the skeleton system is rib cage. And what is the third part in the skeleton system? That is backbone. That is backbone. These are the different parts present in our skeleton system. Now we will see where does this skull present? Skull is located in our head. Skull is present in head. What for it is helping? Just now I told you our skeleton system is protecting our internal organs. Very important internal organs, very delicate organs. They are so delicate. That's why they need lot of protection. That protection is given by our skeleton system. Though, so the part related to the skeleton system present in our head is Skull. So this skull is protecting our brain. Brain is internal organ. Very important organ. The brain is sending the messages to your body so that you are responding, able to respond to your senses. So skull is protecting your brain. It's present in head. And next part is ribcage. Ribcage is present in the chest part. Ribcage is present in chest part. And you know the very important internal organs like our heart and lungs. Heart and lungs are present in the chest part. So they both are very delicate organs. They also need protection from the bones. So these bones, some bones join together and form like a cage structure. This is only known as rib cage. So your rib cage is present in the chest part and they are giving protection to heart and lungs. Okay. And the last one is backbone. Your backbone is present at the back side of your body. Backbone is located at back side of the body and they help to pass the messages. So these are the some important parts present in our skeleton system. So in today's class you learned about the meaning of skeleton. Skeleton means the bony structure, the bones, all the bones in human body, there are 206 bones are there. These all the bones join together to form the skeleton system. Joining of bones form the skeleton system. How many bones are there in human body? 206 bones join together. And form the skeleton system. And skeleton system uses what for skeleton system is important in our body? To give shape to our body. To give support to our body. And to make us stand straight. To make upright. To stand straight. Our bones are helping. And our bones are helping to protect our 
internal organs and you also learned the important parts related to the skeleton system those are first one is skull located in our head and it give protection to the brain and next one rib cage located in chest part and give protection to heart and lungs and the last one backbone which is helping to bend and stand bending backbone is helping to stand straight backbone is helping so this is about our skeleton and the new words you learnt in this lesson is skull rib cage protect and bones okay now once we will see what are the questions given in s1 so this is observing the skeleton and identifying the different parts in the skeleton system we already did in the activity and now when we come to the first question why does our head feel hard your head feel just you put a uh, keep take your finger and try to tap on your head you feel little hard what for your head is so hard because in head the bony structure is there the bo that is known as skull because of the skull your head feel hard okay so write the answer by your own words and write two functions of our skeleton system just now we discussed what are the different functions skeleton system is performing skeleton system gives shape to our body skeleton system gives support to our body skeleton system makes us to stand straight and skeleton system protect the internal organs so can you write that answer take the pick of your blackboard and you can complete it and the last one is why do we feel something hard when we pat a dog on its back so we have oh, this skeleton system do the other animals have the skeleton system or not yes all the mammals last class division of animals we learned the animals which give birth to the babies all comes under mammals so mammals like dog cat humans and fishes frogs all these animals have skeleton system all these animals have backbone right and some worms worms will not have and crabs crab will not have skeleton system so now in the third question what is asking when you pat at the back side of a dog you feel hard what's the reason when you tap at your back also you feel hard some hard parts you will feel at the back side of your body what's the reason yes it's because the backbone even the dog have backbone at back side that's why we feel hard when you tap at back side of the dog so can you write these three answers very good now we will discuss about how these bones are working now you learnt the different types of bones and the structure of skeleton system how it is useful to our body you learnt now how they are working we'll see now understanding the functions of skeleton we'll do one more small activity you keep a book in front of you and try to pick the book without bending your fingers try to do this is it possible without bending like this your fingers can you pick up a book pen or anything it's not possible at all right so we need to pick up anything we need some bending of our body parts 
So how this bending is happening? We are able to bend our wrist. We are able to bend our fingers. We are able to bend our elbow. We are able to rotate our shoulder. We are able to see, move our head with the help of joints present in our body. How we are able to move the body? With the help of joints located in our body. So here you are learning some keywords. In our S2, we are learning some keywords. Those are joint. Second one is movable. First one is joint. Second one is movable. Third one is elbow. And fourth one is immovable. I M M O V A B L E. Immovable. Movable. M O V A B L E. Movable. Elbow. E L B O W. Elbow. Joint. J O I N T. Joint. So these are the words, new words you are reading in this S2. So what's the meaning of joint? So joints are helping us to do our things, to do our work. Then what's the meaning of a joint? Joint is a place where two bones meet with each other. You see, in your arm, the upper arm, this is known as upper arm, this is known as lower arm. So your upper arm and the lower arm are joining at one place. Here the elbow. So this is the joint. A place where two bones meet with each other. Where two bones meet with each other known as a joint. So these joints are helping us to move the body, to bend or to pick up, to do the work. Then, are all the joints are movable in our body? Every joint. So here one joint is there. Here some joints are there. Near the wrist part. Near your knees some joints. Near hip some joints. In the skull some joints. Are all the joints are moving or not? That's what we are going to discuss in S2. Our topic is movable joints. Movable joints. What are the movable joints in our body? We will see. To understand this, you open your S2. Open your S2 in volume 2. Come to page 6. Different joints are given here. You make a move in your joint and try to feel where the joints are present. Do this activity. When I am explaining along with me, you try to feel your joint where it is present, whether it is moving or not. You do the activity and try to feel that. So the first one is your neck part. Your neck part from the lower jaw and from your neck, some joint is there. Near your neck part, a joint is present. This is known as pivot joint. Pivot joint. So is it movable or not? Are we able to move our neck? Right, left, front. In the three dimensional, three ways you can see like this and you are able to move your neck. So a joint is present in the neck that's making you to move your neck. And how is that useful? Does this movement help us? Yes. In what way it's helping? To see around you. Just for... To see, back side you cannot turn. 360 degrees you are not able to turn your neck. Okay, but it's, you are able to 
move your neck because of the joint present in your neck that's known as pivot joint and it's helping to see and next when you come to your shoulder in your shoulder you try to rotate your shoulder are you able, able to rotate do this activity along with me are you able to rotate your shoulder yes you are able to move your shoulder because a joint present in your shoulder is known as ball and socket ball and socket ball and socket joint is present in your shoulder so this joint is helping you to move your hands in what way it's helping to move the hands and next come to your elbow the same way ball and socket joint how it is present in your shoulder even in your hip part also it's present and when you come to your elbow try to able to move your elbow are you able to move back side can you move your elbow back side it's not possible you can move your hand only in one direction when you open your door it moves only in one direction right same way your elbow helping you to move your hand only in one direction but it is helping to move so it comes under movable or not it's a movable joint it is present in the elbow so near the elbow also movable joint is present that is known as hinge joint hinge joint is present in our elbow and your knees which joint is present hinge joint is it movable or not it's it is helping to move and to bend to lift the things up for this purpose the hinge joint is helping which is located in the elbow and the last one is your fingers are you able to move your fingers are you able to move your wrist wrist are you able to move around or only in one direction yes you are able to move your wrist in all the directions right so near your wrist also near your fingers also some joints are there so these joints are near your wrist part a joint is there that is known as grinding joint with joint Gliding joint is there. Even this is also movable. And now come to your head, your skull part. In the skull, there are bones. Many bones are there. They attach to one another. For example, if you see, this is your lower jaw. This is your upper jaw. Both are jointed. But uh, do you want to move? Can you move like this? if you want to move your skull near the eyes some bones are there if you want can you move this eye uh, bones present near the eyes not at all we cannot move that bones so they are immovable bones so near the skull or uh, in the skull which bones are present immovable bones are present and in the neck in shoulders elbow wrist which bone which joints are present movable joints are present in skull immovable joints are present so these movable joints are helping us to move to lift the things to see around and to hold anything the movable joints are helping us understood children so write this you did activity just now you turned your shoulder you turned your elbow you tried to move your wrist so this
place all the observations write in your notebook write heading as two activity and movable joints you are finding write this table in your note notebook as activity after completing the activity now come to page 6 this we will do in our online class the table which is given in the page number 6 we will complete in our online class only the activity you write in your notebook and now come to the next question how is the joint in the skull different from the joint of the ankle where is the ankle part in your body yes near your foot anklets girls will keep anklets near the foot right so that this area known as ankle so the what is the difference between the bones present near the ankle and the bones present in your skull yes the skull bones are not moving whereas ankle bones are movable you can move your leg like this because of your ankle bones so can you write this answer yes and last one name two movable joints that are similar in their movement so any movable joints which move in same way if we take shoulder joint and elbow joint are they moving in the same way shoulder joint can move in all the directions 360 degrees direction it move whereas elbow joint can move only in one direction so they both are not same in function both are movable joints only but the movement is different then which two joints are having same function yes your neck and the shoulder neck joint and the shoulder joints both are movable or else your shoulder joint neck also cannot move 360 degrees you can take your shoulder joint and the wrist joint your shoulder joint shoulder joint and the wrist joint and you also need know the names of the joints present in the shoulder and present in the wrist which joint present in the shoulder ball and socket and which joint present in the wrist grinding joint so these two joints are movable joints and both are same in the function so write this answer in your volume book children so complete page 5 your homework your home assignment is page 5 and 6 complete in your complete in volume 2 take pics and send to me okay in today's class you learned about the meaning of skeleton system and how the skeleton system is important in our body the functions of skeleton system you learned and the meaning of joint you learned how many different joints present in the body you learned and what are movable what are immovable joints also you learned very good so try to complete both the pages compulsory and send me the pics thank you